I am Atul Mehra, Managing Director, Tasty Dairy Specialities Limited. I completed my education by being a B.Tech in Mechanical Engineering. I am a Mechanical Engineer, but my father's business was Medicine Trading. As such, I was not very comfortable in that business, so I was exploring new ideas of business. I came across the story of George Verghese Kurian, who is also a Mechanical Engineer. So I got very inspired by that. And at the same time, the dairy industry in India was de-licensed and we could, as private entrepreneurs, set up a dairy industry. So that is how I got into dairy. We started handling 200 liters of milk every day when we started our business. Today we are handling more than 4 lakh liters of milk per day. The journey, this journey was very interesting. As I grew, as India grew, in the same way our factory also grew in this time. Initially, the investment I made in this industry was very small. I would say just 20 lakh rupees in the 1990s. India is the largest producer of milk today and we are also one of the biggest consumers. Traditionally, we have milk as a basic source of primary nutrition for us and uh, many sweets, all our sweets are made out of milk. Milk is basically consumed by us at all times in many religious ceremonies. Ghee as a product is used for a, as a cooking medium, it's supposed to be very healthy. So the Indian milk industry market is really in a growth phase. We have lots of products which are made out of milk, ice creams, everything, koya, paneer and so many other products which we as Indians are using regularly. The main products in our umbrella are liquid milk, milk powder, butter, ghee. We also make paneer. We also are into making instant food mixes like gulab jamun mix. Initially, we started very small. I had a part-time accountant, a few technical people. Most of the work was done by me and also my wife. We grew very slowly. We had little capital. So we were going very slow and gradually the business increased. Initially, when we started, we were into liquid milk and we started making skim milk powder and ghee. First year, we could have, uh, we reached a turnover of about 2 crore rupees. When we started handling milk gradually, the milk quantity that was coming to the factory started increasing. That was the time we started thinking of new products and the market that we were catering at that time started getting saturated. So we thought of entering into new lines, making new products. We are supplying to many companies like Parley, ITC, Mother Dairy, uh, several cooperatives in Andhra Pradesh and many other reputed companies. We always got a very encouraging response from these companies. There was a time when these companies gave us awards, that was some 15-20 years back. That encouraged us to do better and that is how things improved and we are where we are today. As far as quality checks are concerned, we have all the certifications that are required for a modern dairy plant. However, the best test is tasting it yourself and that is what I do whenever I go to the factory. I personally see all the packings, how they are done, whether everything is in order or not. I take back the products to my home and get them tested at home and that is the best quality test I believe is there. Hygiene in the plant is very important and we stress upon our employees to remain clean whenever they have any communicable disease. They are asked to inform us beforehand, they are not allowed to come inside the factory. Their nails are checked regularly. They have to put all kinds of protective gear on their mouth, fingers, everywhere. And we insist that products are not touched by hand by them to ensure the quality of the product. Well, we have about, for testing of milk, we have about 30 tests which are done on each sample of milk that comes to the factory. First of all is the sensory test where we taste the milk whether it conforms to these standards or not and then the other tests are done in the laboratory as far as the fat content is concerned, the SNF content is concerned, the freshness of milk is concerned and all the tests you know to understand whether the milk is of the best quality or not and we take only the best milk otherwise the milk is rejected. As a modern dairy plant we have all the good machines however my insistence is wherever an Indian machine is available and it's efficient I prefer to buy an Indian machine. As far as my contribution to the white revolution is concerned, I would say it's just a drop in the ocean. It is not very significant, but in ways we have done what we could do in a place like Kanpur to let the milk quantity increase, the farmers get their better returns and that is how we have done it. I think we have to set up 
more dairy farms now so that we can have milk, cleaner milk, better quantity of milk and the factories can be fed properly with good quality milk. Milk is available in abundance but what happens is that milk has to be brought to the factory and the cold chain has to be maintained. The government and we people must invest in the development of the cold chain so that the milk comes to the factory in a fresh state. We do a lot of value addition to the milk that comes to our factory. We pasteurize it first so that the shelf life of the milk increases. We test it properly. Then we make value added products like milk powder. Milk would have a uh, shelf life of just two days while milk powder can stay for one year. And that is how the value of the product is enhanced. The transportability of milk is improved by converting it into powder and sending it to distant places. As far as empowerment of women is concerned, women play a very important role as far as production of milk at the farm level is concerned because they are the people who help their husbands to collect the milk and get it sent across to the factories. However, as far as empowerment is concerned, what we do is all our milk producers, we give them some kind of subsidy when they get their daughters married for the education of their daughters, we provide them loans, scholarships and we also encourage the women to take part in the workshops that we conduct for the clean milk production. For guiding the farmers, we have regular workshops in which clean milk production is taught to them. We have veterinary doctors going to the villages, looking after the animals, telling them how to take care of their animals, what time they should be fed properly, what time, what care should be taken in case they have any disease and that is how we help the farmers to give us the best quality milk. 22 years in the dairy industry has been very interesting, very challenging and uh, very, very interesting for me where uh, a lot of new products, higher turnovers, higher achievements have been made by me in this period. A lot of challenges were faced during this period. There was always a problem of good manpower, finance that was required, market also was very tough, very competitive and we had to go all through this. In terms of milestones, I would say satisfaction, being a part of the growth of India, empowering the agri-based people in India who are the base of our economy, who are at, as the backbone of our economy and being a part of that, contributing to that. When we started, milk was about 5 rupees a litre. Today we buy milk at 40 rupees. We feel all this money goes to the farmers of India who were at one time not so rich, I would say, I won't say rich, but not very economically well, but now they are in a good, better position. Very fresh is the brand name of our milk. Very fresh means it's fresh milk straight from the farmer's gate. So what we do is in the morning, early morning, when people get up, milk is delivered to them, to their houses, in a very fresh state and the children can go to their schools, the people can go to their offices after having the very fresh milk. Tasty always tries that its products are tasty. Now if milk is tasty, it, it has to be fresh, it has to be made in such a way that people love it and that's what we at Tasty try to do. Maintaining a flawless reputation is not easy. We have made a certain reputation for ourselves. We take it upon ourselves that our products match the standards, we have several quality tests, we have consumer feedback, we conduct mock recalls from the market to understand what kind of product is going to the market. Whenever there is any issue that is raised, we take it very seriously, we have meetings about it and so we try that the reputation that our company has right now is always maintained. In Tasty Dairy, if you ask me how many employees are working, I would say hundreds of people are associated with Tasty Dairy. What with the number of transporters, truck drivers, tanker drivers, people who are bringing in milk, so many people, it's a family of thousands, tens of thousands and lakhs of people who are earning their bread through Tasty Dairy. Tasty Dairy takes care of its employees. We feel that employees are an integral part of the organization and they, because of them, Tasty Dairy is where it is today. What we do is that we ensure that the employees remain healthy. We have given them insurances for their families, entire families. We have recreational facilities for them. We have 
scholarships for the children so that the children get good education, they are assured about the future of their children and there are various other HRD schemes that we have in our company. As far as R&D is concerned, we have a very nice laboratory in which there is state-of-art equipment. The testing of milk is done in so many ways so that the quality of milk is ensured. Then for the new products, we know we have to develop new products, give them into the market. We keep on doing trials on the new products and several people are employed in our R&D facility. Tasty Dairy Speciality is limited. As the name suggests, our products are tasty. They are from the dairy. They are really special and we want to, we are unlimited in our reach. We want to reach everywhere globally. We have several future expansion plans. We want to double our turnover. We want to double our profits. We want to collaborate with the companies which are coming from outside India who want to set up their bases in India and see what products are being sold globally. We want to bring those products also to India through Tasty Dairy. Well, Prayas is a project that we are running as a CSR project in Tasty Dairy. Prayas stands for Project Requiring Your Association and Support. That's Prayas. What we do in Prayas is, at one time, I had a dream of opening a school, a hospital. Now being alone, I don't see I can set up all these. So what I have done is, through Prayas, we are giving scholarship to hundreds of students associated with us where we have a matching contribution system. The person who sponsors the poor child, we give an equal amount to him, plus the scholarship to the child. We, are, we give them textbooks, stationery, and all other reading material. That's how I fulfill the dream of having a school. As far as hospital is concerned, I can't really open a hospital right now. So what I do is, I'm in tie-up with a few doctors who, you know, take care of the accident victims who cannot afford their treatment. So what Tasty Dairy does is, to provide the doctors with financial support and doctors take care of the patients and several people every year are treated under Project Prayas. There are several other things which we do in Prayas as a measure of social service. Water is scarce. Everywhere there is shortage of water. Now as you understand milk is 85% water. What we do in our factory is that we dry this milk from its water content and the water goes either into the drains or it is evaporated. Now what we do, this milk, this water in the milk is very pure. What we do is take out this water, the tankers that go to the villages to bring the milk, they take this water. This is used for various purposes by the farmers. So that is how we don't incur any expense. The water is given back to the farms everywhere where it can be used for cleaning and that is how we are working on water conservation also with Prayas. Tasty Dairy has received several awards. The first award that we got was Rajiv Gandhi National Quality Award. This is the highest award in terms of quality that is given to any Indian company. Crystal is a reputed financial rating company and we are proud to be amongst the top 50 MSMEs recognized by Crystal. We have also got award from Ministry of Food Processing, Ministry of Industries, and several other awards, national level awards we have got. For people who want to do well in life, make a significant change, my advice is to work very hard, stay focused, take help from others, have a positive approach, and look to the growth of India, look for the good of others, and your good would automatically come in. The secret of success behind Tasty Dairy is striving for perfection, taking care of all its constituents, having an approach that winning is both sides. If somebody loses, you don't win. And that is how we do conduct business.